Can you guys hear me yet? This is terribleness. You can hear me now? Okay, sound, yes? Can you guys see my computer? Yay, I'm like stressing out over here. <laughs> can you guys see my computer screen? Like I have Canva pulled up, can you guys see that? I'm trying to do this to where I am filming from my phone to where you guys can see my laptop. You can barely see it. Okay. Hmm. This is terrible. Like, it should not be this difficult, you guys. I'm afraid if I turn you sideways that it's going to, like... Um mess all up. Oh, goodness. Did that help? Okay. You guys have to let me know. Let me know if that helped tra changing my camera view. It did? Okay. Okay. Still very small. Okay, well, I'm not very zoomed into it yet. Um, I know, take a deep breath, thank you. I guess I feel like, ugh. I'm trying to zoom and like, you guys, ha this is very difficult, just so you know. Edit, no, no. Video settings. No, that does not help. Now it's facing me. It's not no good. <gasps> Hit the button on the right side under. We'll see. It looks different from my end. Because I am on. Well, no, Dawn, it may not. I don't know. You guys can see me just fine. But I'm trying to do this where I can see chats. I know, I know we lost you guys. So now I need to go back and try to get the camera to turn back around. Ugh, this is giving me difficulties. Extra camera, yes. Okay, yes. Add the camera. Oh, come on. Turn this.
Can you guys hear me? Please tell me you can hear me. I know we lost the sound. Now I have both screens or both like cameras open, but I feel like then that makes like it makes you little. Like, can you guys see that these labels okay? Oh, this is like very difficult. You guys can see the labels okay. Okay. Because, like, once I put you on my tripod, I cannot see the video, but I can see your comments. And that's what I want it to be, that I can see your comments um, so I can respond. Um, like I said, so I can respond to your comments. I don't necessarily need to see the camera once we get it set. Now you can see. Now we can hear. Thank goodness. Phew, this was stressful. <laughs> oh, okay, I think we're set. So these are just some labels that I have used. Um, in the description of this live, I have put a link to my Amazon storefront. It has a link in there to the Rolo printer, the thermal printer that I use, the labels that I buy, different size labels you can just search on amazon for waterproof thermal labels and um you know like you should be good you know like just make sure you search for waterproof um you can get thermal printer thermal labels that are not waterproof and i just suggest the ones that are waterproof i don't know why i have froze on the tv is everybody else doing good? Like, I'm trying to look at my, um, yeah, I'm connected. I'm not sure. Okay, so can some of you, like, that were having questions about the thermal printer and how to use it, whatever um can you shout out some questions like i am not froze we're not do i'm not doing anything like I'm, we're not frozen i'm just not like you're just facing I, I haven't started anything I'm not sure how to make it bigger. Like when I open one of these labels, this is what we're going to be looking at. Can you guys see that okay? And I feel like it's reversed. Is it reversed on your end? I don't know if I'm looking at it wrong or what, but I feel like this should say ORMD, so it is reversed. Okay, so let's see if I can't figure that out. Video settings, mirror, ah. Is that better? I feel like that's better. Oh, tell me if I just made that worse. Diana, I'm not sure what's going on. I have good connection. You can see it correctly. It's like when I, uh, it only accesses the sound. Cor yeah, the top screen, uh, for some reason, I have to have the top screen on. Otherwise, you guys can't hear me. Uh, when I turn the top screen off, I mean, we can try it again. But then you guys can't hear me. I'm going to try it. It's like, I don't know why. Why? 
We're going to see. Oh, wait a second. You guys, we're, we're super, super, like, we may be on to something. Let me see about turning this one off. We may be getting somewhere. I'm not 100% sure, but we may be. Hey, is this any better? Please say yes. Somebody please say yes. <laughs> this is getting better. I, okay, so I removed the top one. We should have just one one now. We should just have one. Do you guys have just one? It's backwards. Okay, I think I can fix that, though. I can fix that. This is 16 minutes in, and we are, like, still a hot mess. Okay, let me know. How did we do? <laughs> How are we doing? Please tell me we're doing better. <laughs> now good. Great. Yay! Everybody do a big round of applause, please. <laughs> I'm going to scoot this back a hair. Um, that way, because, like, you guys can't see the whole screen. Like, oh my goodness. Like, this was total hot mess express. <laughs> all right okay so i'm gonna scoot this up so i can come forward because i'm like really far away okay we are better i'm so glad okay you guys like it's seriously 18 minutes in and we've just now gotten this fixed like it was having two cameras going, only one would have sounds and the other wouldn't. And I'm like, this is, it's killing me. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna go back to my homepage in Canva. Now, you can purchase the full Canva. And we have, because we like the extra benefits that you get when um you have the full version with full version you get access to a whole lot of other options um and like i said um in the description you can try the free version of canva if you like uh and you don't never have to purchase the full version there's just different options available in the full version that we decided uh, were beneficial for us here at Be Scented. So we, of course, purchased the full version. But they do have a free one available for you to use. So, um, like, this is where I create all of our labels for the shop here at Be Scented. Like, here's bourbon butterscotch. I hate when it does that. Okay. And each, you guys can see, it kind of lights up. Each section has its own um, text block, which makes this really easy for me to edit one section of the label. So, like, when we do fragrances and we have a new lot number, I easily can just click on that section, change the lot number, and I'm good to go. So... This label is the size 2.25 by 1.25. It is similar to an address label. It's not quite as wide as an address label, but it's taller than an address label. I can't remember uh, exactly what the address label size is, but uh, this is similar in size to an address size label. Then I have some that are three, I'll show you. So 
this i'll put it in front of the camera this is the two and a quarter by one and a quarter label that i use for our sh the shop here the most okay it comes on this roll and you can also get two inch round thermal labels that's these they come on a roll and then also really oops sorry a really really good size for bath and body products you don't have to wear your granny glasses <laughs> um is this a three by two label this is very very close to this the vhs tape labels um that uh you know i used for a really 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 long time until i switched to a thermal printer these are really close to that it is three inches by two because they come out of the printer this way so yes now everybody's computer and how they work on the computer like their printer settings and all may be different but for me this is what i do so i'm going to create up here in the top right it has jw which that's me uh, i'm going to create a design they give you a lot of options for um starting out but i always go down here to customize design size and then like it's it's recent because i've done this so many times it brings it up so i click that one and you start with a blank canvas. Now, I'm going to turn you guys a little bit to look at this side a little bit more. Because there's some options over here. You guys can see these? I think so. It's, it's like, for me, what you guys see is super, super tiny on my phone. Um, so, you have all of these options over here. You can start with a template. Now, keep in mind, thermal printers only print in black and white. So, when you look at all of these themes that they have, um, they, it's not gonna, it's gonna be black and white. So, you have to keep that into mind. But, like, I always go over to text, see, and they have options. Now, when these ones here that have the little um, crown, those are pro options. That's if you have purchased their program. So we have access to all of these and you like you can pick uh, one and it, and it puts it on there and you can click on here and you can ungroup it and you only have the one and they have the very easy back button up here. If you mess up, you put it back. It's not an issue. You can ungroup it to where then you can change the color. To where if you're wanting black and white, you can click uh, that for the first color. I need to oh, I didn't want to do that. It is super easy to work with, just so you know. I should be able to, maybe I can't do change the background color to black on this one, which is fine. I'm just going to delete it and we'll pick something else that I know I can fix. So now this one, um, if I change it to black, that's, I don't know how it's going to print on my thermal printer. Because this is, like you're designing thinking you're going to be printing in full color. So something like this, I have no idea how it's going to print. So it's not something I would pick. When I do like text blocks, I generally just click a text block. You have three different options. Uh, a heading is really big, as you can see. I'm going to take that one away. This one is a little bit of body text. And then, of course, a subheading is a little bit bigger. I generally go with this one because our labels are small. And uh, I start from here. Now, keep in mind as well, when you're working with a thermal printer, not all font is going to print great. Um, so you kind of find what works best for you. So I'm just going to put in um, my business. 
Like, that's what I like to put for my labels. Uh, I don't always put the LLC at the bottom. You can. So then this one right here is where we would change our font. Pick what font we want. This one prints really good on a thermal printer, the Open Sans. You will just have to go around and decide what works best for you, what prints the best. This one's cute. Uh, and then I like to make it bold. Also, you can slow down your printer to where it doesn't print quite as fast. And that also helps with blurry printing. So I'm just going to, let's just, let's do the lip gloss. Um, we'll, we'll make the lip gloss label. So, I'm going to change this to this one that I know works really, really well. And then, let's just pretend I made raspberry flavor. Now, when you go through and look at fonts, you will see some with crowns. That means you only have access to it if you are paying for the full version. But there's tons and tons of other fonts available that you can see here that do not have the crown. There are tons that do, but I like all through here, none of those have the crown. None of, like, a lot of these don't have the crown. You just, like, you can search, um, like, Open Sans, and it brings all, like, the different options up. That one's cute. I have no idea how that's going to, I want the whole thing to be bold. Ah, there we go. Raspberry. See, in this one, we can underline it. I like it underlined. And then we're going to do our ingredients. You can, of course, change the size of your font. Oops. Oh, goodness. I'm trying to... Okay. See, so have I addressed the heat issue? You're in the desert. We have six stores and we can't use thermal printers, paper, and our cash registers. So, yeah. When you have extreme heat, um, the, do they turn black on you? Is that what you're talking about? Like, extreme heat? The, the, the thermal printer labels will turn black? I have to open another window because I do not know the ingredients off the top of my head. Got to sign in. You guys can watch me sign in to Evernote. Evernote is where I keep all of my recipes. Okay, so first is going to be castor oil. Now, this is all going to be like really big. I'll have to adjust it, and that's fine. Rice brand, coconut. Um, you could definitely go with INCI names, but for this video, I'm just quickly trying to get this done. Beeswax would be next. Um, then we have jojoba oil. Right. Um, I'm not sure. I've not, I've not had any issues with like. It's like we haven't been. No, the thermal printer does not print in color. They just do black and white. So then flavoring and vitamin E. Okay, so obviously, you know, this is way too big.
All right. So let's go back up just a little bit because we just need enough room at the bottom that we can. Um, yeah, they burn the writing onto the paper. Correct. We just need to uh, have enough left to put in our address. Like contact information. Just putting in my address here at the shop. I want this on one line. Oh, I also need to add weight. So we're going to make this small. I'm going to change this font to this one. That's like my favorite font to use. So this I may go down just a smidge. That way I can put in the net weight. I think it's um it's 10 mLs. Changing the font to it as well. And then you can just slowly, gradually, you know, move things around to get it the way you like it. Yeah, yeah. Thermal is a little bit tricky. So, like, if you use a thermal label and then you use um, a heat gun, you do need to be careful to not overheat it because it will turn black. You are correct. I've not had any issues here where I live, but I do not live in extreme heat. I love the thermal printers because it burns the image into the paper and it's there's no ink. You never have to buy ink again. That is the beauty of a thermal printer. Now, yes, it's only black and white, but you never, ever, ever have to buy ink again.
Okay. Can you guys hear me? This is so annoying. Okay. Now I need to fix it again. Sorry, guys. My phone, my phone rang. Oh, so annoying. I don't know. Can you guys see okay right here? Like, can you guys see that? Like the whole thing? Or is it tiny? Jeez, this is so stupid. Like, I'm so irritated, you guys. I know, right? Like, leave me, leave me be. Text me. Don't people know how to text? Sheesh. Can you guys see the full screen? So you can only see part of the label. Oh my goodness. Like I finally have this going and then of course somebody had to call and mess it all up. I swear. Oh. I don't know how to fix it. I don't know what happened. Why is it messed up? I'm changing you. Oh, hello. Let me change it back to the back camera. It's still messed up. I don't know, guys. Let me try to turn you this way. Oh, let me make you guys all six. Can we all just get a beer and call it good? That will, that will work for me. Cause I'm like, I'm really, really irritated. So it's still not, it's still not fixing the camera when I turn it. <sighs> okay. I don't know what else to do. I don't know what else to do other than hold my phone. And then scroll across and show you guys what I'm doing. <sighs> See, that's what I did. But when I do it, it just does my whole screen. Like, all of you. Like, the comments and all. It just, like, it doesn't mess, fix. Doesn't fix the issue. Wait a second. Wait a second. Hold on. See. Orientation not available while on live. Well, yeah, it is because you messed it up. Sorry, guys. <laughs> yeah, it will. It won't let me change it back. It's five o'clock somewhere. Amen, sister. All right. Sorry, guys. This this is it. So. This is so annoying. And I hate holding my camera because I can't hold it steady. We were almost done anyways. I was getting ready to print it. So, this is how I'm going to print it. You go up here to share. And then download. It only lets you download, which is fine. I just delete them. And you have a lot of different options. You can do a JPEG. You can do a PNG, PDF etc. I just leave it as the PNG that's suggested. And I just leave it like that. But you can see what works best for you. When I first got my thermal printer, now I took lots and lots of time. Like I wasted so many labels. Uh, so you may want to get the cheap labels to begin with, like one roll of the cheap ones that are not waterproof. The ones that are not waterproof, you can get like 700 labels or whatever. For like seven or eight bucks. So that roll gives you lots of opportunity to um, practice uh, to get your printer settings the way you want them. Your phone just rang. That's hilarious. Gosh, like when it rang, and it's and it's probably like a delivery or something, and I'm just gonna have to call them back. You know, 
So, okay, so this is where it pops up for me to print my label. This is how it pops up on my screen. Yours may be different, and that's okay. So, I'm going to print it. I'm going to go to my Rolo printer. Now, when I go down here and I pick the size of the paper, I had to custom add this size paper to my printer because it was not an option. And I can show you guys how to do that, at least on my printer. See, that's the thing, or at least on my computer. Everybody's computer is different. So yours may be a little bit different than mine, but I can show you how I do it. So I click the paper, you know, this right here, the two and a quarter by 1.25, okay? So now look, oh my goodness, it looks like all wonky doodles, right? So I'm just gonna change landscape to portrait. There we go, much better. Just gonna print one. And then, and here's my printer, it already spit it out. It's like super fast. I'm gonna rip it off and we're gonna look at it. Oh, come on, focus, focus. It's not focusing, it does not want to focus. Oh, it just doesn't want to focus up close. But that looks really cute. I like that. This is just a really, really simple way to easily make a label. And these labels are super sticky. I mean, super sticky to where um, when you stick it on something, there's no, oh, I messed it up and you pull it back off and redo it. There's no, no, no. There's no fixing it. Once you do it, there's no fixing it. Once you put it on there, it's on there for life. We have found that out here at the shop. So, all right, I'll show you guys how I changed some printer settings on my Rolo printer. So I just go to my search bar and I type in my printers. Okay, sorry. I'm trying to make this as best as I can. Open printers and scanners. All right. I'm gonna go down here and find Rolo. Then we can go to, I don't remember. I, you guys are gonna refine this with me because I don't remember. So I went to printer preferences. Um, aha, right here under settings, under printer preferences. You can create specific sizes. Now, mine works in millimeters. I just hopped over to Google and I put in inches to millimeters and I put in, you know, 2.25 and it told me, you know, 57 millimeters or not. Yeah, that's millimeters, 57 millimeters. And then I put 1.25 and it told me 32 millimeters. So that is what I put in here. And it's not like it won't focus. There we go. That's what it put in here. Yes, totally a forever sticker. And then right up here, you can change the speed on how fast your printer is printing. And you can change the density on how light or how dark it is printing. I have it on the darkest setting and I have it on one of the lowest speeds. I slowed it down. That way it gives it more uh, opportunity to burn better. So this is how I go in and I change my printer settings to slow down my printer, change the density to the darkest, and I'm able to add custom size labels. Like this two by two is what I use for two inch round. Then we have three by two. I showed you those earlier. And I have the two and a quarter by 1.25. So that's how I do it. I just open my printer settings, open my printer and go to printer preferences and then settings from there. So do you guys have, okay, I'm going to see if I can't turn the camera around so I can talk to you face to face. Look at my kids up there. Um, hold on, I'm going to try to turn you guys around.
front camera. Oh, I did it. Yay. I figured it out. At least this part. Okay. So do you guys have questions about the thermal printers? Um, I, like I said, in the description of the video, I put a link to my Amazon storefront that has a link to the very specific printer I have, to the labels I have purchased, uh, etc. So, do you guys have any questions? I'm so sorry that this live, look at my hair, was a total hot mess in the beginning or for the first 20 minutes. I, I'm extremely sorry about that. I did not mean for that. Yes, you can, yes, 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 you can order waterproof thermal uh, labels, yes. Um, I have some in my Amazon storefront, or when you go to Amazon, just search, like, I'll show you. I'll bring up Amazon, and I'll flip my camera back around, and it's not easy to flip the camera. Like, you would think it would be super easy. Um, waterproof, I'm, I'm searching. Waterproof thermal labels. Okay. All right. So I'm going to turn you guys around and I'm going to show you what I'm looking at. So you can um, order them. Okay. Woohoo. Look at that. I figured that one out. All right. So I'm just going to cr just grab the first one. Um, well, no, that's not even a size we would use. Let me find a size we would use. Those are four by two. Okay, so these ones are two and a quarter by one and a quarter, which is what I am using right now. Okay, so this is what I look for when I am searching. Uh, I go over right here. This picture is what I'm looking for. The ones that are grease resistant, waterproof, alcohol resistant, they're oil proof. That's what I look for. So these ones, 500 labels is $20. And, but, I, but this is, this is for 1500 labels actually guys, you get six rolls. 1500 labels for 20 bucks so let's break this down we got twenty dollars we're getting 1500 labels that is a penny you guys see that a penny a piece what 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 Come on, come on, camera work. I'm trying to turn it back to me. We thought I was a pro, but it's not working. I know you guys can hear me, but no cameras are working. Come on. <laughs> oh my goodness. Well, guys, I apologize. I know that you guys can't see me. It says that it unexpectedly stopped working is what it says on my end. Um, oh, we got it. <laughs> oh, I feel like today's just a hot mess. Um, just a hot mess. No, they do not have to be Rolo brand. They are universal to all thermal uh, printers. So like I said, um, these literally are a penny a piece and you never have to buy ink again. Look at how much money you're going to save on your products when you purchase these. Dawn, I'm telling you, I am such a hot mess today. I do not know why. Um, I, I like, I'm flabbergasted at how this went so terribly wrong, um, when I'm trying to do something super simple. Like I see so many, I see so many YouTubers that do videos and do lives and it's like flawless. And I, and I just wonder like, how did you do that? 
How did you do that? It just, it didn't, it doesn't do for me, obviously. <sighs> so, anyways, making labels can be very simple. Very, very simple. I'm a, I, I have always used more simple labels anyways, so these work perfect for me. Um, and I, I, I like them. Yeah, I know, right? I have one phone and I have one laptop. It's just like, I want it to, I want to look really professional like all those other people. And I never do. I always have like, you know, I have like, my hair's a hot mess. Like I have this weird curl right here, you know, like I need to be like my mom, you know, lick my finger and get the super curl to stay down. <laughs> You know, it's life, whatever. Um, I, let me, I don't know, because they're thermal labels, so they're already, like, they're made, that because it uses heat, you know, to burn the image into it, so they're heat reactive. I don't know. I literally have never had issues with, them turning colors and I ha now I'm gonna go walk over here I have um turned one a little a little discolored when I did lip gloss um I'm gonna try to find one in this bag and show you guys I'll try and it's because I put my label on there, and then I used um, a heat band, and I used a heat gun. Okay. I don't even know if you guys can see it, because it's very, very minimal. Right here on the edge. Kind of like right here. You guys see it's kind of a little, little smoky looking. Right there, where it says lip balm and raspberry. But it didn't ruin, it didn't ruin the label or anything. And this was with a heat gun on it. So, I learned to just go a little bit faster with my, uh, not hold my heat gun in one section for very long. But otherwise, like, I didn't have any issues with these thermal labels and putting the heat band that's on here. As you can see, these are pretty... These are really good. Yeah, I didn't have any, I didn't have any issues. Um, I've labeled a bunch and uh, put heat bands on all of them, and I didn't really have any issues. I noticed, you know, a couple of them. I left my heat gun in one spot for too long, and it caused that. And I was like, oh, I just need to move a little bit faster. So, or you know, don't keep my heat gun on that one spot, you know, for so long. Technology is great until it isn't. Absolutely. Like today, technology has not been great at all for me. It's been a terrible day for technology. And I very much apologize. We did get to create one label. And I printed it. And I showed you how I changed my settings. Uh, I have linked in my Amazon storefront. The Rolo printer. The labels. And I've been trying to update my Amazon storefront anyways. With just things that I use for shows, uh, like tables, table covers, the tent that I use, etc. I've, you know, I've been trying to update my storefront to have that stuff in there. I literally have not updated my Amazon storefront in years, and I spent an hour this morning working on that um, here at the shop um, right before I got ready for the live. So I'm trying to do better there to give you guys more information uh, on things that I use. So, yes. All right. Do you guys have any more questions? It is totally a real world. You are absolutely correct there. If you guys don't have any other questions, I will let you guys go for the day. Yeah, I did add my Amazon link. It should be in the description of this video. Uh, okay, how do you find them on the website? Let me, let me go, and I will show you. Let me turn my camera around. 
Let's see if I don't mess this up. Okay. <laughs> okay, so here is the front of our website. So you were asking about the bath, you said bath bomb colors, correct? Let me go back to chat. Uh, bath bomb colors, yes. Okay, so along the top of the website, we have home, we have shop, all of our drop down menus, we have colorants, and then we have bath bomb supplies, and you can scroll right on down to bath bomb colors. And then right here, I'm going to try to back you up. You just scroll, and it just shows all of our colors. And then, you know, we have more than one page. Go to the next page. Now, the and there we go. There's our colors. If you guys ever can't find something on the website, let me know, because I am the one that changes and works on the drop down menus and stuff like that for you guys to locate products. I have really been working hard. Um, I've been really, really working hard the last couple of months making the drop down menus more friendly. Uh, like this colorant section is new. Cause I was like, you know what? Our colors used to always be under soap making supplies. And I was like, well, you know, I feel like they need their own thing. So now we have colorants. And then we have Micah's right here. Micah's color and, and glitter that takes you to everything. Then you have mica pigments, oxides, neons, the glitters, and then liquid dyes. You know, you have all these options now. It's much harder on your phone. When you do it from your phone, you have like there's the three little line bar. You'll click the three little line bar and it will drop down the option menu at the top right. And then, so then we have our candle making supplies. Uh, this used to did not have links to waxes or wicks. It just had candle making so uh, supplies and then it had fragrance. And like, I now I've linked the warning labels and, you know, the waxes takes you straight to the waxes, you know. I'm trying to do better. It's a lot, but it's a lot. Um, now shopping is where you will find the lip balm supplies down here, where we have the lip balm tubes, the lip gloss, all of that. Click on that, and that has lip balm, and then we have, um, see, like, look, I just realized, talking with you guys, that I do not have lip gloss tubes on here. So how would somebody know that lip gloss was on there? Cause it's not, you know, I'm working on it, working on it. It's a lot. Anyways, you would have ran away screaming a long time ago. You're funny. I'm gonna turn you guys around. Okay, all right, I got it. Um, yeah, I, I do, um, I try to do as much work on the computer as I can just because that's less money we have to spend to pay somebody to do that if I could figure out how to do it myself. Uh, we do ship to Canada. We do. What issue are you having? Because we do ship to Canada. We actually ship everywhere. You're very welcome, very welcome. I try to do my best. Sometimes it's not the greatest, but I try my best. If you, um, I'm not sure what your name is. I just know it says uh, Ontario. Yes, we ship to you. Um, what issue are you having when you try to check out? I'll see if I can't. Help you out really quickly before I let you guys go. Now we do not ship to P.O. boxes. Um, because UPS does not deliver to P.O. boxes. 
So we do have it set to, um, you must add and have a physical address. You're very, very welcome, guys. Okay, I'm going to let all of you guys know, um, Exotic Beauty Brina, uh, just send me a message on Facebook. I will be happy to help you get your order placed. So thank you guys all so much for sticking out and figuring this out. Um, yeah, send me a message and I will see what I can do to help you. But I'm going to end this live and I will talk to you guys later. Bye.